says, are we there? It says, for there are many unruly and vain talkers, and what else? And deceivers, especially them of the what? Circumcision. It seems like there were various groups in those days that deceived, and they were vain talkers, but but the ones that caused most harm were the ones from circumcision. Those were the dangerous ones. It says, especially them of the circumcision whose mouth must be silenced because they are disrupting whole households. That's today's topic. The whole households by teaching things they ought not for dishonest gain. Say that this word, circumcisions, especially those of circumcision, I notice that I speak to many evangelicals and people that confess to be Christians. And when I ask them, you know what circumcision or uncircumcision is? They are, they are clueless, you know. But if you ask, do you know who's Christ? Do you know who's the devil? Do you know about sin? They know about all of that. But when you speak about circumcision or that terminology, they're clueless. But it's necessary because it says, especially those of circumcision disrupt whole households. You have to know who they are so you can protect yourself from them. Because if they tell you that there are deceivers here in Miami, well, who are they? Well, especially those of circumcision, you should know who they are to protect yourself. Well, let's go to Galatians chapter 2 so you know who they are. Galatians, the book of Galatians, Paul identifies them. Chapter 2, verse 7. Paul here identifies them, but on the contrary, are we there? But on the contrary, when they saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision had been committed to me, as the gospel of circumcision was to Peter's. So what is circumcision? It's a gospel. It is a gospel. There are two gospels in the New Testament. One is the circumcision and the other uncircumcision. The uncircumcision was given to a man named Paul and circumcision was given to Peter and the 11 apostles. Now the 11 apostles are the ones that were given the gospel of circumcision. And Paul says that that gospel disrupts whole households. Are we clear? It is to say Paul is the chief or the one in charge of the gospel of circumcision. Now Paul says that there are many unruly men and vain talkers, especially those of Peter. Am I speaking clear? But then you may ask yourself, is that Peter was an apostle? How are you going to say that he was a vain talker and that he confused and disrupt whole households? Well, I'm not saying that. I'm reading that if Peter was given to be charge of that, and Paul says, be careful because there are many deceivers, especially those of circumcision, one thing takes me to the other. Because people may say, oh, is that you guys attacked the apostles, I don't attack them. What I do is read what the word says, and it says that they disrupt whole households. 